Not gonna lie, it actually looks pretty good. What up guys, welcome back to the story. <laughs> Papa's got to go to work, okay? <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 look at this one. <laughs> it's gotta go easy. So first things first, guys. First things first, let's go grab some caffeine. Anything else, sir? That'll be it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, happy new year. Happy day? <laughs> yeah, long time. Thank you guys, have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs> Off to the old garage because we got some cleaning up to do. Um, if you guys don't know, we are actually, or the lease is up on that place in three, four weeks. Middle of February is actually going to be the last day that we have that old garage. Um, I mean, we've had it for five years now. I don't know if that guy knows, <laughs> but he forgot to close his door, man. See, everything is tied down. What the fuck? That's never happened before. Did it raise this or something? Over the winter, the concrete raised to the point where I can't even open the door anymore. What the hell? Oh, okay. How stupid. All right, let there be light. Guys, I'm gonna get settled and uh, we can start kind of tidying up here. But also, I have a lot of things to tell you, including which of these cars is for sale. Not that one. This one is going to a home in Las Vegas. We did the giveaway a few weeks ago. We're still deciding how we're actually gonna send this to the winner. And I've been thinking of possibly doing a road trip not driving it, probably getting a flatbed and renting a truck or something and driving this thing down to Las Vegas to the winner. But I gotta figure out all the logistics for that because I really wanna time it so that we're down in Las Vegas for multiple events. So we might actually not send this out until later, later this year, unless we can find a cheap alternative to ship it there. Just gonna start taking photos and start labeling all of the items that are for sale. Uh, with an actual price and then I'm just gonna put them up on the Facebook marketplace and if you guys Calgary locals want to buy any of this stuff um, You guys can just search up. What should we name it? We'll say Kmart estate sale search that up on Facebook marketplace Small little update on the FC I'm planning on bringing this to the ape auto garage so that these guys can actually help me get this started up and running and finally on the road. Too many projects going all at once. Remember this saying guys, if you try to chase two rabbits, you end up with neither. I found myself trying to chase like five to seven rabbits in the past two years. This is one of those rabbits. Try not to overwhelm yourself guys with too many ongoing projects, especially if you're into tons of different hobbies like me as a creative. I love drawing, which takes hours, but drawing is so vague in its topic selection, like Cars is, in its many ways that you can uh, take the direction of the build. This just means that your mental space is always going to be filled, uh, and the more vast the difference in all of these hobbies means, well, ultimately, the more your efforts are super diluted, and then you don't give the right amount of love and attention and the extra care that you really should be to all of the projects. <laughs> it's a lot. Bro, like this was supposed to be for the RX-7, but it ended up being too small. This is a D-Mac hood for 240SX, I think. Or an S13, I could be wrong. Or it could be for both. Actually, it's pretty universal. Or I, I thought it was gonna be universal. It doesn't even fit on that thing. Take. By a few inches. I'm just gonna put it up on the marketplace if someone actually wants to buy this thing. Last time I was just being tired and lazy. We are gonna re-drill our hole in our bowl, AKA sink, and I'm gonna show you guys how you properly use the whole saw bit, okay? It was just a search away, so easy, but this was the tool that we needed. The actual drill part of the whole saw drill bit. So we have like several different diameters of circles that we can use. That's perfect. 
this is a stopper. You can just put it on top like that. <laughs> so much better. It worked to an extent, <laughs> but it grinded it down. So after filing down the cutout, I applied some black silicone to blunt out the edge. Next, it was finally onto the flooring part of our XB tiny home. For our hidden compartment, I recessed the foundation of the hinges to sit a bit lower because I need the top board to be flush. Probably better ways out there to do this part, so if you guys have any suggestions, all the real carpenter people out there, let me know what tool I actually use. I'm using the flooring we've cut out as a template and I'm trying to match up the lines to the best of my ability. For this, it's really how good you can trace. Again, for our flooring, we're going to be using pressed board that imitates the look of separate wood planks. Also, side note, getting a different cutter for this part actually really makes this process fun, enjoyable. Because if you don't like what you're doing and you're engaging in something that takes effort but is also draining you of your happiness, that is what leads to depression. And with the tools I was using before, that's what led to my depression. I'm not depressed or anything, but also what I've learned is the exact opposite of depression and suppression is expression. Letting it out. Creative people do it all the time through music and through the art that they actually create with their hands. It's all about finding the fun in the stuff that you do. All right guys, progress. Flooring is finally in and it looks seamless enough i mean you can still kind of see the lines for our secret door but now we just got to glue this onto our template and also i ended up cutting out this sidewall which is supposed to be for the cabinet so it matches it's gonna go right there i don't know how it's gonna look when everything's together but i think it's gonna look dope i could really use a change of scenery yeah everybody's smoking all the greenery the match they handed down to me but I'm still fly I'm still fly I know I'm still fly I'm still fly let's go beautiful I think we're good for today. Or I've done enough. I mean, this thing is looking pretty badass. Flooring in, and I've used the same material. It's just like a laminated particle board uh, for this wall part. I added some of that aluminum edge trim to make it a little cleaner in here. Put some on the edge of the floor itself. It looks so good. Damn. So what's next for this now is just color it. Make it all black. Still gotta get some wood laminate for the cupboard doors. And then we can finally move on to finishing our cot setup. For this part, I still gotta create our armrest, which is also gonna act as uh, extension to the cot. So I got these hinges here. My idea is you'll be able to put up the armrest when you want to, but also latch it down. It'll be a full length bed that will also attach to the front swivel passenger seat. That's the idea anyway. <laughs> I really still want to be able to finish this and test it out before winter's over. So I'm just going to dedicate the next few days to just completing this thing up. All we really need to do now is finish up the furniture. I want to paint it black. Also, we really have this crazy idea for the headliner, but I have to figure out how to take this out. It probably isn't too hard. Ah, yes. You know, this is, this is actually really cozy more cozy than it may look on the screen. I, I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, 
kind of guy, maybe closer to 5'8". Haven't really measured my height lately, but for me, this is actually okay. Like I have enough headroom to be able to chill. And since we're gonna be installing a TV right here, it's gonna be a tiny TV, like 10 inch. Actually, I can get away with using a tablet. So maybe I'll just find a tablet holder that I can install on that pillar instead of uh, looking for a very small TV mount because that probably doesn't exist for a 10 inch. We also have to figure out the tabletop that goes over the sink uh, because when we're drawing, we're not gonna have this set up like that. Pretty decent, man. Super cool. When this thing is all finished and done, uh, we're definitely gonna go test it out in the real wilderness, probably outskirts of Calgary or closer to Banff or something. I mean, more so, this thing has become just a time passer for winter and uh, winter's almost over. <laughs> Looking good though. Okay, guys, I'm gonna just end this video. Just wanted to come by the garage and work on the XP a little bit. Um, also, who? out there wants to come to the garage and help me unwrap this thing because yeah i'm growing out of the gold i think it's time i told myself i'd be going back to the same color but i've been looking at different shades and tones of greens there is one in particular that i might actually like a little better than the kelly green this is enough to get me to the boiling point we'll see if i end up using it for this thing uh, but for now I'm gonna just end this video, so appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hi, hi. That is a mini fridge. It is perfect. Our tiny portable fridge. Makes me even more excited now. Like it goes deeper than I thought, actually. We can take that out. Should be enough of what we're gonna be using the XB for anyway, so. So cool.